uh, when you watch these swimmers from home, especially our younger kids, crucial for them to, I like to say, keep their ears in the water, their magic ears. As soon as you lift your ears out of the water, your bottom droops. So you kind of take on that hammock shape in the water and a lot of drag as you have that droopy bottom. So watch them here. Let's see if they can keep their ears in the water, eyes on the sky. So this is seven, eight boys, 25 backstroke. This is heat one of five. Lane four, Magnus Allard, Somerville Y. Lane five, Tyrus Bird, Profield. And lane six, Davis Yadigan from Fort Johnson. And they're off. So far doing a great job, David. I was talking about how important it is to leave your ears in the water. I even tell our younger swimmers, if your ears come out of the water, they lose their magic. The win there went to Davis Yadigan in 26-1-4, and I believe that Tara is joined by our surprise winner, Aria Davis. I am joined by Aria Davis here. Congratulations, Aria. What team do you swim for, Aria? Ashbro. Awesome. And what is your coach's name? Um. <clears throat> Well, that's all right. There's a lot of coaches, I'm sure, that contributed to your success today. It's a lot to remember. Tell me, what were you thinking about before your race as you got ready to swim? Um, I was hoping I was going to drop se seconds. You did drop some seconds. You dropped two and a half seconds to take home the first win for your team today. Congratulations. Is there anyone watching at home you'd like to give a shout out to if you want to look in that camera? Um. If my brothers are watching, it would be Chase and Corbin. Awesome. So great, Aria. Hope to see you later. Congratulations to you, sweetie. Thank you. Heat two just went with the boys' 7 8 25 backstroke. And we're going to tell you who was in that Timothy Lee, William Chambervich, Colton Allen, Daniel Chefsgarden, Liam Teagarden, Patrick Mahoney, Hunter Clark, and Tad Davis. Layton, uh, your winner was Mahoney at 24 6 0. All right, here's the replay coming in on that backstroke, working those stroke counts, keeping the ears in the water. We'll continue to talk about different racing tips and techniques that help these young kids. This is heat three. Buster Chapman for the Country Club is in two. Hudson Hartwell for Shadow Moss in three. Colin Hakel for West Counties in four. Samuel Klingman for Long Point in five. Lev Gurevich for Northbridge in six. Leighton Bowers for Shadow Moss is in seven. In eight, that's Pearson Alexander for James Island. And in nine, that's Tiago Tossi for James Island. Your winner there looked like it was Pearson Alexander at 22.49. Here's the replay on that heat three of five. Let's check out lane eight all the way at the top of your screen. Almost that is Pearson Alexander with a nice finish and a winning time for that heat for James Island Stingrays. Coming up on heat four of five for seven, eight boys, 25 backstroke. Lane two, Gavin Compton, Crowfield. Lane three, Whit Carvin, Newington. Lane four, Harry Parnell, Hawkall. Lane five, Owen Thompson, North Charleston. Lane six, Grady Smith, Snee Farm. Lane seven, Callahan Salta, Daniel Island. Lane eight, Jake Salinski, Ashboro. And lane nine, Grady Haas, Northbridge Terrace. And it looks like it's going to be Callahan Salta taking the win there for Daniel Island. We're gonna get these times here in a second. Callahan Salta at 21-4-2. Solinsky was second in 22-34. On the replay, Callahan Salta in lane seven. His time, he had a big time drop in the 21, so about two seconds. He has a chance to pop up into some good scoring positions here. Absolutely. Definitely a chance your top seed only at a 20.40. This is the final heat of the boys' 7 8, 25 backstroke. Russell Word for Hobcaws in two. Brooks Morgan for Ashboro in th three. Will Boigno for Park Shores in four. Whit Pittard for Park Shore in five. In six, that's Jack Kometz for Newington. Seven is Shepard Silver for Snee Farm. Eight is Russell Pierce for Daniel Island. And in nine, that's Isaac Silly for Northbridge. And this one is super, super, for North Charleston, I should say. And it looks like the win will go to the Snee Farm swimmer, Shepard Silver in 20.19. Second was Pittard at 21-1-6.
Third was Morgan in 21-5-6. Love that finish there. Shepard Silver with Snead Farm. I don't know who went crazier, his coaches or the parents up there in their sea of green. That was a lot of fun to watch. Congratulations to Shep Silver, and we hope to get a word with him in a bit.